Wait a second. Is that raritanium? Maybe we should upgrade our weapons first. Here's where you pick your weapon. Let me walk you through the process with one of mine. You're gonna need raritanium for this stuff, but we'll use some of mine for now. All you gotta do is pick one of them cells. These things chain together. Go ahead and fill out the whole chain. some weapons step into my office actually i ain't got no office but i might get one if i make salesman of the month Jumped and jumped and seriously, what's with all the jumping? Yeah. 
Darn it! John Clark and jab the transmission. Who's gonna save us now? Oh, hello there. I'm glad you're here. I've been... Hey, have we met before? Because I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. Uh, I don't think so. Huh. Well, guess the old think tank could use a good plumbing. <laughs> Anywho, I've been trying to get a distress call to the Galactic Rangers ever since Drax forces showed up. Uh, this entire region is overrun with Blargy and dropships. We need to get you out of here. Well, I can't go anywhere until I get this here info bot into the hands of Captain Quark. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Oh, sure thing. I swabbed it from one of those black soldiers. Here you go. Oh, hello there. I'm Alonzo Drek, chairman of Drek Industries. Many of you may be wondering, why are 300 heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G dreadship? <laughs> the answer is simple, friends. Progress. Years ago, we were driven underground by pollution that may or may not but most definitely was caused by my father's company. Since then, we've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. Now that our project is nearing completion, we must do everything possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our friendly army of warbots must vanquish those who would seek to stop us. Good news, they don't know we're coming. So sit back, relax, and take comfort in the knowledge that Drek Industries is working for you. Drek Industries is not working for you. I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly. Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? Hmm. Well, it does look like the fastest way down. Let's give it a shot. Want to do it again? Mm, looks like your combustor could use an upgrade. is in trouble. We'll fix your ship in a bit, but right now, he needs your help. Whoa, that is a lot of bad guys. Ooh, darn blood. Attention, citizens. You may have noticed we are in the midst of a small insignificant invasion. We are working hard to contact the blood so we can find a peaceful resolution. But until they return our calls, it's probably best to remain in your home. He's down.
Cora Verilux statue. She's the youngest recruit ever to be selected for the Attention, Galactic Rangers. We have left you several messages regarding your invasion of this sector. I don't want to suggest that you are avoiding us, but you just in case you didn't catch us. There are quite a few waiting for you. That's the last of them. Attention, Blar. We still have not heard back regarding this unfortunate situation. I might be technical difficulties on our side, so I picked up the phone to make sure I got a dial tone. Then I had a friend call me from a neighboring lot, just to be sure there's a <laughs> on our side, so when you get a moment, give us a ring. Ah. Oh dear, more of them. That must be the mayor's ship. will not last long without our help. Out of ammo! It's my nephew, Skid McMarks. Wait, Skid McMarks, the pro hoverboarder? He sent me this infobot from Iridia, and the Blarg have been after me ever since. Here, take a look. Hey, Uncle Blockwash, Skid McMarks here. You know, your nephew. My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia, and boy, is this been a trip. I've gotten to meet all kinds of people. Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors. I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Flarg. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Aridia. Wait, uh, hold on a second. Hydro Harvester Super Illegal Water Displacement Apparatus. Um, I don't think I was supposed to have this. Stop him! He's got the schematics! Help! Someone! Call my agent! Call my publicist! Actually, don't call either of those people! Call someone who cares about me! I don't want to die! 
Sounds like Skid McMarks is in trouble. We gotta get to Iridia. Agreed. But we must first repair our ship. Oh, you did it! Thanks for saving the sector, friend. Now come on back and we'll see about fixing that ship. Attention, citizens. Your mayor is safe and sound. I was rescued by a furry hero and his robot friend. I will now resume regular office hours, which is every third Tuesday from 10 to 10. And so, Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first, they'd have to tackle a... Brain-eating zombie T-Rex! Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Okay, fine. Killjoy. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you in the next reboot. something for you. That's it! Only could they set their new destination. Each planet came annotated with fun things to do, courtesy of the Freeloader's Galactic Almanac. They appear to be amoeboids. According to my databanks, they were created by Threat Industries in order to assist the warbots. Holding his breath, our intrepid Lombax delves the depths of uh, deepness. Try as he might, Ratchet could not bring it underwater. Bad guys, get ready!
is clear. Well done. Which planet should we go to? You got enough bolts for a pyrocitor! And what do you know? I have one in stock! Okay, what's our destination? The nav computer indicates that there is an important gadget we must retrieve in Iridia 